लेमन स्क्वीजर स्कूल ऑफ क्रिटिसिज्म इट्स लिमिटेशंस एंड मेरिट्स क्रिटिसिज्म हैज डेवलप्ड एंड ब्रांच्ड इनटू वेरियस फॉर्म्स इन आवर एज द लेमन स्क्वीजर स्कूल ऑफ क्रिटिसिज्म इज वन ऑफ देम critics of this school analyze a poem as stanza by stanza and line by line they est- extract and squeeze every drop of meaning out of the poem that is why eliot has called it the lemon squeezer school of criticism this school has been started by professor i a richards and his pupil professor ampson these two professors <coughs> molded criticism to suit their classroom needs they were faced with the problem of how the appreciation of poetry could be taught in the classroom such criticism we taught uh, such criticism we <coughs> find in a book entitled interpretations this book contains a series of essays by 12 english critics each of the critics have analyzed one poem of his own test they have concentrated on the poem itself this method of criticism is entirely different from the criticism of explanation by origin the criticism of explanation by origin deals with the events in the life of the poet which have given birth to the poem the lemon squeezer method of criticism is a healthy reaction against this diversion from the poem to the poet the great merit of this method that it tries to find out what the poem really means but this method <coughs> this method too has its own limitations and dangers the first danger is that these critics believe that there is only one interpretation of a poem but they are here <clears throat> as a poem is a living organism it unfolds itself in different ways to different minds <clears throat> the meaning of a poem cannot be exhausted by any one means they should know that their method is only one of the ways and means to understanding to a poem the critics of this school regard a poem as a mechanical thing they untie its component parts to understand it but in this process the very poem disappears only the lines and phrases remain before us the meaning of the poem does not lie in isolated phrases and images all these combine together to give a unified impression the second danger is that the critics of the school the critics of this school believe that the meaning which they have discovered is also the meaning intended by the poet but they are mistaken no two persons can look upon a poem in the same way the poet and the reader will always differ regarding the meaning of the poem for example eliot says that the big uh, eliot says that the fog in proof rock has been interpreted interpreted contrary to his intention eliot wants the teachers to warn their students against these two dangers of this school in spite of these limitations this method of criticism is intelligent and sensitive it is amusing to learn of different connotations of the same poem given by diligent readers 
Besides, the method, this method enriches our mind with different interpretations of words and phrases. This method has grown popular in the universities. It is objective and scientific in character, so it is free from all those lapses from which criticism of explanation by origin suffers.